Ask most Americans what sport they're passionate about, and chances are their answer will include football or racing. One man has excelled in both. On January 13th, 1981, a relative unknown named Joe Gibbs became the 17th head coach of the Washington Redskins. With a passion for winning and an eye for talent, Gibbs wasted no time in turning the mediocre Redskins into a dominant force in the National Football League. During his first 12 years as the head coach of the Redskins, he built a dynasty, leading the Burgundy and Gold to four Super Bowls and three World Championships. In his second stint with the Redskins from 2004 to 2008, Coach Gibbs led the team to the playoffs in two of the last three seasons. Elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Gibbs may be remembered most not for winning percentages, but for guiding the Redskins through the toughest circumstances the team ever faced, the shocking death of star defensive back Sean Taylor in November of 2007. One time Redskins general manager Bobby Bethard said of the coach, he could go into any area and have the same results. And so in 1991, Coach Gibbs decided to pursue his childhood dream. Coach Gibbs took his relentless work ethic and motivational skills and put them to the test in a new venue, the asphalt ovals of NASCAR racing. And the results quickly parallel those he left on the football field. In only their second season, Gibbs and crew won the Super Bowl of stock car racing, the Daytona 500. From there, the team quickly rose to the upper echelons of NASCAR. In 1999, driver Tony Stewart won NASCAR Rookie of the Year honors. Bobby Labonte took home the team's first NASCAR championship for sponsor Interstate Batteries in 2000. Two years after winning the biggest prize in motorsports, Tony Stewart brought the Orange and White Home Depot Bunch a second NASCAR Cup championship in three years for Joe Gibbs Racing. In 2005, Stewart would win again, gaining the third overall championship for JGR. Also that year, the corporate colors of FedEx and the number 11 car were added to the team and FedEx driver Denny Hamlin won Rookie of the Year. 2008 saw the addition of Kyle Busch and M&Ms as partners on the number 18 car, as well as a manufacturer switch to Toyota. This combination made an instant impact with a team record of 10 wins in the Sprint Cup Series. And Joey Logano looks to build on his success at every level he's raced, taking over the number 20 Home Depot Toyota. The NASCAR Sprint Cup teams make their home at Joe Gibbs Racing's corporate headquarters in Charlotte, North Carolina. JGR now houses over 450 employees at its 250,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility. Joe Gibbs is famous for saying you win with one thing, people. Not only are the employees at Joe Gibbs Racing working together, but they're also growing together physically through daily workout programs in the team's NFL-style weight room and spiritually through weekly Bible studies and small groups held on the premises. Away from his business interests, Joe Gibbs founded Youth for Tomorrow, a home for troubled teens aged 14 to 18. Over the years, Joe's time and commitment has helped turn many kids away from drugs, alcohol, and crime, instilling in them Christian principles to get them started back on the right track. In 2009, Joe Gibbs launched the Game Plan for Life project, starting with a book and the website GamePlanForLife.com. Tackling 11 topics critical to men and women, Coach Gibbs lined up 11 experts to explain how the Bible provides the best game plan for success in each area. As Joe explains it, God is the head coach, we are the players, and he's given us the game plan for life in his word, the Bible. Joe and his wife Pat make their home on Lake Norman, just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Gibbs spends most of his free time with his seven grandsons and one granddaughter. Taylor Gibbs, the son of Joe's oldest, is currently winning his battle with leukemia, which has given Coach Gibbs a new perspective on life and toughness. Together, the Gibbs family has triumphed and gone from upstart to champion twice. Whether on the field or on the track, Coach Gibbs has always been about winning and will continue to strive for his quest to win the biggest game of all, the game of life.